Molly here once again from the Victoria Weather Center in Vero Beach with my 7 a.m. Tuesday, September 3rd Hurricane Dorian update. This forecast is for Palm Beach, Martin, St. Lucie, and Indian River counties. Hurricane Dorian weakened to a Category 3 hurricane with sustained winds of 120 miles per hour early Tuesday morning. The storm is located about 35 miles northeast of Grand Bahama Island or about 105 miles east of West Palm Beach and continues to be stationary as it batters the Bahamas within intense winds and storm surge. Dorian has been nearly stationary for the past 18 hours as steering currents in its vicinity have collapsed. Dorian's likely path inched slightly farther from South Florida late Monday as the region still faced the risk of hurricane force winds from the edges of the storm. The National Hurricane Center expects Dorian to resume a west northwestward motion Tuesday followed by a turn northwest late Tuesday night and a northeastward motion expected to begin by Wednesday night. Despite the favorable movement of the cone of uncertainty, which shows the likely course of the hurricane center, forecasters warned Floridians against concluding that they had escaped the worst. Although the official forecast does not show Dorian making landfall along Florida's east coast, the hurricane center is reminding residents and visitors that a, quote, relatively small deviation to the left of this track could bring the core of the hurricane near or over the coastline. Dorian's hurricane force winds extend outward up to 45 miles from the center and tropical storm winds extend 160 miles from the center. There is a hurricane watch, but the watch is there for the possibility, as there are indications the storm may have begun to turn north. But we may not see much of a change until late this afternoon or early tonight. This is the Listener's Digest forecast. I've tried to boil these forecasts down to a small condensed version. Once again, I remind you to stay vigilant. Keep your eyes and ears on the media. Thank you for watching and listening. Be safe and stay tuned for more updates. Ron Kreider here. Here's a little video that I shot this morning at 7 a.m. This is in front of Victoria here at 5680 A1A in Vero Beach, Victoria Condominium Complex. This is out by our tennis court. Purpose of this was just to give you an idea of the wind. It's a little difficult to tell in the video, but you can see the trees moving around uh, quite a bit. We get over to the beach, you'll notice it a little bit more. Obviously the lights are still on. Here is the south side of our property, and uh, you can see the trees moving around uh, somewhat here. We had 25 to 35 mile an hour winds at this time, and really we haven't seen much more. Oh, we had a couple of gusts up to 45 miles per hour uh, last night, but uh, we haven't seen much of that today. Moving into this uh, next uh, slide, this one, uh, this video is taken uh, just to the west of uh, the cabana and pool area and once again another shot of the trees up there uh, they're moving around quite a bit but like I say it's only 25 35 mile an hour winds at the absolute most and here is looking at the trees on the south side by the pool area and you can tell at the top where the wind is blowing what they're what's going on here and the next is a video that I took over on the beach and uh, I just wanted you to see those trees up top there. And coming up here is a shot I did at the beach today. Sorry for the noise in the background. It's going to be very, very windy. And this is, we were getting 25 to 35 mile an hour winds here this morning at 7 a.m. This is, uh, for you folks who are not familiar with the Victoria, this is taken uh, at the uh, Victoria Condominium here in Vero Beach, 5680 A1A. Looking out at the beach, we have two beach access areas. This is the one to the south. And, uh, and the water was coming up uh, just about underneath the overpass, but uh, Nothing really serious. Beach looked pretty clean, but the seas were quite a bit rough. So we'll keep you informed throughout the day today. It looks like we may have dodged this bullet. I don't want to start drinking the champagne yet because it's not quite time for that. I'll let you know tomorrow, but in the meantime, we'll keep doing videos and keep doing updates for you. Thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos from the Victoria here in Vero Beach, the Victoria Weather Center.